the first impression is very positive. The new uh, 911 GTS is is even more a car for the racetrack than before because uh, the turbocharged engine, more torque, the suspension, which is 20 millimeter lowered, all these uh, facts make a perfect car for the racetrack. The first GTS, of course, was a normal aspirated engine and now the new one is a, a turbocharged engine, which gives more power, more torque. That is the biggest difference and then we have a, a, a spot suspension which is 20 millimeter lowered and we have special uh, Pirelli Corsa tires which are all makes a step in direction of the racetrack. The benefit the driver can feel is first of all is the torque. It means he must not rev up the, the engine between 5 and 7 to have power. It's, the power is on very early at 2000 revs we have 550 newton meters that makes it much easier for a driver to use this car and of course even the suspension is helpful the car is more precise in turning in and has a better road holding all these small details which are changed it's a turbocharged engine the suspension the new tire makes this car more drive able on a racetrack. I think it's the right car for people which say we don't need just a Porsche to be on a racetrack. We want a compromise on the open road and sometimes they go on a racetrack and for these people this is a perfect solution. I can just say it's fantastic, you know. I mean the predecessor was a great car and then you always have to make a compliment to the engineers developing this car how can they find another step on a perfect car? It's just great experience coming here on the track today, feeling the level of performance, the level of uh, giving you confidence on driving, the safety, just great. You see my eyes blinking? It's the greatest, you know. If you don't need the turbo, you go with normal, decent power, driving along an, an avenue or on, on in Paris somewhere. But if you need the power, you just put the pedal down, you don't feel this one of these turbo legs anymore, it's just there the power, lots of torque, lots of power. And then of course, if you don't need it, you have less consumption significantly. It's great, it's, uh, it's the engine with the turbo, it's the engine which is perfect for everything. Just great. I just can tell you, absolutely. I mean, we came here driving to Cape Town, very normal, very moderate, you know. And you come to the track and you turn in the car into the first corner, you get this fantastic confidence of driving. The car never surprises you, you know. It turns in nicely, it builds up a great, very high corner speed, you know, you feel the G-forces, you put the power down, you feel acceleration, and it gives you more and more confidence, and that's what is perfect. The car doesn't surprise you, that's really cool. Well, it's, a, it's a generally a, a nice car to drive. Um, it gives you a lot of feedback straight away. Uh, the precision, it's very precise, like turning in on the front axle, uh, it gives you a, straight away a fantastic feeling, lots of stability in the rear as well. And you just um, can drive to a, to a certain limit quite quickly and it gives you really good confidence when you drive the car. I mean, there are some significant differences. Uh, the car is just a further development from, from the, the second uh, 911 um, division. And it's just like, um, I think the biggest change is coming from the engine side. I mean, with the old GTS, we had a combustion engine, normal aspirated, and now we have a turbocharged engine and this makes a a completely different feeling in the car. You have a lot more horsepower, like 450 horsepower is uh, I think quite a lot for, for a GTS. I think it's a big step forward as well. And the turbo engine has a significant advantage um, just with the amount of torque you have. Like also out of the corners, you just put your foot on the throttle and you straight away have a lot of torque, uh, lots of acceleration and it gives you a really good feeling driving the car, especially on the acceleration. Well, actually I have to say I really like this app. It's a, it's a fantastic tool. For, for drivers um, because it just gives you always the indication what are you doing in the car and afterwards you can really have a, a detailed look in all the data analysis. It's basically the same thing what we're doing in the racing car. We have similar data uh, in a racing car obviously we have a lot more but uh, for the amount uh, what you do on the track to improve your, your driving skills it's perfect. It's, uh, it's enough data, you can actually share data, you can overlay your data, you have um, speed traces, g-forces, steering wheel angle, throttle position and you also have a, you can videotape your own lap and it just gives you a perfect indication what are you doing on track 
and um, it also can show it, it also shows you where you can improve your lap time and I think it's just fantastic when you are um, like an ambitious driver on the racetrack it's a perfect tool the new GTS um, differs uh, quite um, s strongly from its predecessor and um, the main as aspect, the main effect is coming from the turbocharged engine right now with a, with a power of 450 horsepower and even more important is a high torque of 550 newton meters. That's 110 newton meters more than its predecessor and that makes the car really fast. The target customer for the new GTS is the customer who tends to buy a GT3 but um, wants to use the car a little bit more every day so that he is looking for the, the best compromise on one hand to have a really fast car on the racetrack and um, on the other hand to, uh, to do it his everyday uh, use and so the GTS with all um, its equipment is the best combination. We had a special eye on the emotion uh, for the car. Nobody buys a 911 to, just to come from A to B. So it's uh, one of the most Im Im important things. And um, all GTS are equipped with a sport exhaust system. And we additionally dropped some insulation components in the rear part of the of the interior so that we get a better transmission of the of the um, engine noises into the interior and this makes the car very emotional together with a high power um, output especially under high revs completely completely new is the track position app now available for all sports cars and um, um, the sports cars have to be equipped with a PCM, that means the navigation system on one hand and um, the sport chrono package um, as well. Of course, both uh, things are standard on the GTS and um, with a track position app, um, you can record your tracks on the racetrack and taking the times, uh, section times and so on. And you get all the data which are necessary um, from the from the car. That means, for example, the revs, lateral acceleration, and so on. And you can add it with a, a video of yourself, and uh, you can afterwards make an analysis and see where you lost your seconds. Also new um, with the presentation of the GTS are the new ultra high performance tires from Pirelli the Pirelli P0 Corsa and this is a high performance uh, tire which is released for all 911 from basic Carrera to Turbo. We um, launch it together with the GTS and especially for customers who like to go on the racetrack uh, this would be a recommendation. Um, these tires are right now available at the, at the dealer and they help you also to make it a little bit faster. For example, on the Nürburgring Nordschleife, uh, it saves uh, another four seconds. Ich drehe jetzt zweieinhalbtausend Umdrehungen, bin im, im sechsten Gang und habe sofort, wenn ich Gas gebe, habe ich Leistung. Das ist natürlich der Punkt vom Turbomotor, der da große Vorteile bringt. Wenn ich scharf bremse, taucht das Auto vorne nicht so weit ein, hebt hinten nicht so hoch aus, heißt, ich kann an der Hinterachse mehr Bremskraft übertragen. Und all diese kleinen Nuancen, das macht es aus, dass der neue GTS einfach wiederum besser, schneller, sicherer fährt und für mich jetzt die perfekte äh, den perfekten Kompromiss darstellt für Leute, die sagen, ich fahre zwar 70 Prozent auf der Straße, aber ich möchte gerne auch ab und zu mal auf die Rennstrecke fahren. 
Und damit hat er natürlich einen, einen perfekten Kompromiss, denn nicht jeder will ja einen GT3 haben, weil er zu 80 Prozent auf der Rennstrecke fährt und 20 auf der Straße. Lenkt perfekt ein. Hinterachs führt ganz stabil. Richtig toll. Das Bremsen. Das Auto macht keine Bewegung, bleibt immer ganz stabil. Ganz speziell bei Kurvenkombinationen, wenn ich von einer Kurve in die andere fahre, wo das Auto natürlich, wenn es 20 mm höher ist, eine sogenannte Rollbewegung macht. Also es neigt sich, das fällt alles weg. Das macht das Auto so stabil, so präzise zum Fahren. Ganz perfekt. Also ich brauche nie korrigieren, das Auto hat immer Grip, fährt exakt dorthin, wo ich hin will. Und der Sound ist emotional, man hat immer früher gesagt, ein Turbo hat keinen schönen Sound, ist wunderbar gemacht. Also es ist richtig super, du unterschaltest, und wenn du beschleunigst, ist es richtig. Wunderbar, also das ist wieder ein ganz gelungener. Schritt etwas, was meines Erachtens perfekt ist, nochmals perfekt zu machen.